I hit this guy. Clean. No penalty or nothing. The coach told me it saved the game. I even got a game ball. Everybody who plays football gets hurt. One way or another. Doc says you're doing better. I wiggled my toe, asshole. I brought you some DVDs, the Matrix and Ronin. De Niro does this awesome car chase scene. You gotta love it. I mean, if you uh, like that kind of thing. Anyways, uh, that's what I brought you. I can't even feel my dick. Play the game for free, but you don't. You got agents and managers and lawyers and shit, but you would. The way you turn and cut at impossible angles, your body horizontal to the ground. It's incredible the way you lie and be. You're in full flight and you haven't even left the ground. I think it's always gonna be like that. Until it's not. Yeah. Feels good. You know, coach took you off injured reserve thinking you were 100%. He has a right to know if you're not. Oh, this is just a little insurance, Doc. Tell him the truth. He'll understand, trust me. You like Doc. He helped you rehab from your torn ACL. But you can't trust anyone. Especially after the team used their first round pick last year to draft your competition. And as expected, the Cougars used the 10th pick in the first round to draft running back Demetrius Harris. Harris's numbers coming up. Coming back from rehab, you should have ignored him. But you didn't. You gave him the chance to show the coach what he could do. Glad you're back. Team needs a solid number two. Yeah, come on. Hey, look, just so you know, the last nine months, I was loaning you my job. <laughs> whatever. Oh, no, not whatever. You were just borrowing it, but it's not yours. Whatever. Hey, look, me and you, let's roll. Come on, man. Look, you want my job, you're gonna have to take it. Hey, your shit's already gone. Then what you got to lose? It's your funeral. Hey, yo. Sit up to 40. Got it. Finish up to 20. Folks were junkies. They got HIV and died before you turned 11. You probably think it's all peace. You thought one time that I'll be One thing you learned from them was how to survive. Lesson number one, don't do drugs. Some niggas talk a lot of heavy, really ain't got no heart. And from the spirit of bounty money, how you try to get down. Niggas, we got no time to use or how y'all keep in the clown. It seems like y'all say, hell no. Well, DH, man, yo. Your sunshine in your life. Man. Don't worry. Come on, we're we're good. Good. Come on, we late. Wake up. We late. 
Come on, baby. Don't hate baby, huh, man? We ain't got no time for no hate baby. Hey, babies, who's got us all up in this mess now? You came to the shore. Sweet. Yo, game's at one, and we're four hours out of town, man. You need to relax. Yo, and hey, you can forget about team breakfast, OK? By the way, which is a mandatory breakfast? Wait, yo, 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 whoa, whoa. Yo, hey, wait, whoa, calm, calm down. Listen, let me tell you something, all right? Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. We got things to do right now, OK? Are you hearing a word that I'm saying to you? I hear you, baby. Mm -hmm. You ain't hearing nothing, man. Come on. Relax, hang by the pool. I ain't got time for none of this with you right now. You look like I got love. Right, right. Come oh, on, stop. let's go, man. Stop playing. Come on. All right, all right. You didn't have to visualize in college. You just played. But now people doubt you. And maybe you doubt yourself. So you do anything to get an edge. Does a woman named Samantha work in publicity? I don't think so. Why? Because a woman named Samantha called and left a message for Liam. When I asked him about it, he said she worked in publicity. Well, uh, she, she might. I could check. I had Arnie send over some tapes for him to study. Ex-players on TV. Gregory, Kyle, come on, guys. You know what time it is. He never even took them out of the box. Well, he's going through a lot right now. I know. But if he's seeing someone... Oh, come on! Hey, hey, there's my boys. Come on, come on now. Stepped on that last crack, FYI. Hey, what are we gonna do? Fight. Who's gonna run good? You. How many yards? <laughs> How many TDs? Two. All right. Eskimo. Eskimo. Mm. Butterfly. Mm -hmm. Eskimo. Yeah. Butterfly. Yeah. Superbug. Yeah. Tell Daddy good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Tell Daddy good luck. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, now. Got to get ready to go. Coach is probably already taking roll. All right, baby. Doc just wants to run a few tests. Can I ask you to talk to him? He says it could be your kidneys, your prostate. Because I don't remember asking. Coach, you're pissing blood. Coach. Everyone's here, Coach. That doesn't mean the players who are here are here. Except James and Harris. Biggest damn game of the damn year, and no one knows where our running back is. Personal responsibility. We cannot achieve our goals until each one of you feels personally responsible to the group. Is that clear? Yeah, yeah, coach. Yeah, coach. Got it. You got it, coach. All right. They got no cream of wheat. Look, they know I only eat cream of wheat before a game, and they don't have any. Now, what does that say? That uh, maybe you should eat something else? No, no, no. They got blueberry pancakes for Johnson, huevos rancheros for Munoz. <laughs> Paying them the respect they deserve? Dude, don't you think you're reading a little too much into this? I mean, they got oatmeal. Look, I don't eat oatmeal. I eat cream of wheat. Okay, you know, officially, you're starting to scare me. You know, when I said that losing your job should piss you off, I didn't mean that you should be pissed off at everyone. I mean, I think the team grocer should get a pass. You know. Robin, too. Yeah, she told me she talked to you about broadcasting. I'm not finished playing yet. She's just thinking about, you know, what happens next, you know, eventually. Look, eventually I'll get my job back. That's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> you know, uh, I heard Coach is pissing blood. Not now, Rook. I had an uncle piss blood once. A month later, he was dead. Hey, I understand you were at the hospital. Yeah, I went to see Gore this morning. Went well. It's a brave thing to do, man. Not a lot of guys have done that. Gerwitz. Yeah, Coach. A blessing. Lord, we'd like to thank you for the food that we are about to eat and for the guidance that you will give us in the battle we are about to fight. Help us to be strong today, to play our best, to rise to the challenge and never back down, to meet the opponent bravely and without fear. We ask for these things humbly, and we know that granting them will not guarantee a victory. 
Whether we win or we lose, we place our faith and our trust in you, God. For we know that you will be fair and just and above all merciful. Amen. Amen. good lord or anything but on the off chance he's got a drought or famine to deal with and forgets what a vital part of the cosmos our wind streak is we do have a good luck charm to fall back on uh, hey 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 the respect must be paid thank you mongo duck cannonball sacrifice for the cause let's go This is what it came up with. <laughs> You're getting me for this. You can't argue with science. Come on, Pops, try it out. Chambers. Right here, Coach. Call Chicago. Tell them we have a senior citizen here. See if they'll go easy on us. <laughs> Seriously, I'm sure I speak for the entire organization when I say we're depending on you. You're a big part of our future. You get your hopes up for a second. Then you remember hope's got no place in the pros after you turn 30. Man, here we go. Uh, yeah, keep rolling along. Say what? Keep rolling along. Holla to the beach, y'all. Keep rolling along. Was that fun last night? Yeah. Well, did you enjoy your tantric ass or not? It cost them nothing to cut my black ass. Listen, they are not gonna The point is they could if I give them a reason to. You had a two. No one's cutting you for that. Actually, it was three. May came to turn down the bed. What? Shorty was banging. <laughs> Man, give me some of that. <laughs> you triple jump, yo. Yeah, it was lovely. What oh, is that? J-Lo booty? Oh, J-Lo. J-Lo licious. J-Lo licious. <laughs> oh, shit. Now we never gonna make the game. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, damn it. Then the glove point. I thought you left this in the room. Put it in the glove point. Yo. Oh man. Rub it into the car. Hey, get back Rub it in the car. Get back on the road. Rub it into the car. Yo, man. I gotta get this stuff off me. It's all good. We are dead. Hey, see your license registration, please. Hey, sure, no problem. There you go. I'm sorry, Mr. Um... VH is good. I didn't recognize you in the car. The thing is, we, we clocked to do in 72 and a 35. Well, you need some jersey sign, huh? Maybe a couple of balls. I think I got some in the back. But won't you check in the back, see if we got any balls? 37 miles over, that's a big number. You're looking at a license suspension. I'm about to hook you up with some tickets. Tickets? Maybe a field pass or two. I think Bill, we can, uh... can I talk to you for a second? Just give me a minute. Take your time. Yo, you saw it, man. Maybe you did, maybe not. Either way, we good. We better be good, man. Sorry, guys, gonna have to ask you some other car. Let's go. Smash like pumpkins. The Van T H is gonna mess up. 
when he does, coach is going to plug you in. You know that's how it plays out. So don't go feeling sorry for yourself. You start getting all weepy and shit, you might do something to hurt the people you care about. What are you talking about? Who's Samantha? Nobody. Any other questions? Yeah, this music sucks. Can anything sound any worse? You mean other than you tapping on your head like it's a coconut? <laughs> I can't believe that shrink of yours went to medical school to prescribe hey tapping. Man, it helps me focus. All right. It's your head. I'd like you to think back to a time when you felt good about playing the game and where you were at the time. It was college, Penn State senior year. How's it feel? Feels hot from the turf. Two days in August before everyone got back from the summer. What's the smell like? Tape. The kind we use to wrap our ankles. It's got this, uh, I don't know, it's sweet. Don't ask me why. What else? Do you see anything? My brother. We played together. In high school, not after. When you think of your brother, what do you see? His face, black under his eyes. To help with the sun, he used to put it on real thick. Craig said that way, no one could see your eyes. The other team wouldn't know how scared you were. Anything else? He's lying there. He can't move. Not now, then. Think back when you were younger. Look, I gotta go. Eric, I know this is difficult. Thanks. This has been good. I, I have a tape here for you. I edited different sessions together. Reminds you of some of the things you enjoyed about playing the game. I'd like you to focus on them if you could. Thirty-three steps to the door. Same as your jersey number. Nineteen. I took thirty-four once. Twelve, sixteen, seventy-five, eighty-two, six, eighty-seven, fifty-three. Why, man? No, seriously, you were at twenty-four. Oh no, no, twenty-eight. I think. I know it's divisible by four, bro. <laughs> They got us on a felony possession. You know what that means, huh? Do you know what that means, huh? I got a cousin doing two years up in Julia for that shit. And he bribed himself out of jerseys and tickets and shit. Yo, man, I can't be going to prison, man. You crazy? Coming out of college, you had this rep. Drugs, partying. So when you signed, the team put an off-duty cop on your ass. Son of a bitch taped everything. So one day, the owner of the team calls you in and he shows you the tapes. You're thinking, I'm done, you know? I'm gonna have to bug an uncle for a job in his garbage truck in Jacksonville. And then it happened. I suggest you mend your ways. The moment you realized it's all good, the man just tore it up and suggested you change your ways. No shit, it was a suggestion. This league's like life. When you're a playmaker, the rules don't apply. Mr. Harris, you're free to go. But this is a speeding ticket. Now, because you're only going 45, you're eligible for traffic school, which you can take online. Any questions? No, sir. Thank you, sir. No questions. You have a nice car. No, sir. You want to back in the car, man. on now in our week six matchups. Let's take a look at the Cougars. After losing their first three games, this team has now won two in a row. A win today would give this second year team its first ever three game win streak. As our Sam Lovett reports, the turnaround begins on the ground. On his first play from scrimmage after Leon Taylor was hurt, Demetrius Harris ran 52 yards for a touchdown and hasn't looked back. Hey Leon, during the game, man, can I sit next to you on the bench? No. Pick your brain. Listen, Rook, I don't sit on the bench during the game. I play. It was that consistency of play that secured his place on Will Banks' still young team. Ah, oh, forget her, man. I mean, the only point she does is on her back. You feel me? Know? 
Leon, save the false modesty from under rolling, okay? Everybody rehabs one time or another. Not like you did. At your age, with your injury, what you did was incredible. Your friends crash on the couch. The ones with problems at home. They come to you because you got it all figured out. Until you don't. Until everything you've worked for starts slipping away. You've never cheated on your wife, and you never will. But you find yourself thinking about it. Hey, before we get started, I just want to say that I think you've still got it, no matter what they say. A source in the front office says the Cougars aren't picking up Taylor's option. Taylor may be our past, the source says, but Harris is our future. Are you getting rid of me? Leon, we're in a meeting. Are you picking up my option or not? What are you talking about? Of course they're picking up your option. Yes or no? This is not the time for this conversation. Yes or no? Leon! I know you're dropping me so you can give Harris an extension. Save some money, look good for Will Banks. Kiss his ass so he'll pick up your option. Step away. care if the draft's not for six months. Pete's got me his take on the Big Ten. We got no supplementals this year, okay? No gimme, so you actually have to earn your money. Fine. End of the week. I think what the coach is doing is wrong. I know you do. Give me Vinci on the phone. Have you seen the model of the new stadium? No, you're not gonna believe it. Look, I think you know I don't complain much. I do my job and let my performance speak for itself. But I gained 1,125 yards last year. In 12 games, I carried this team. For what it's worth, I want to pick up your option. Then why won't you? It's a good owner hires someone to do a job and then lets them do it. Now, I know it's hard, especially after the rehab you put yourself through, but it's coach's call to make. Now, if he's wrong about this, you can be sure it's going to affect my decision whether I'm going to renew his contract. That along with his medical stuff. His medical stuff? Oh, I, th I thought you knew. He's pissing blood. I had an uncle piss blood once. He was dead in a month. Damn, cops. Hey. Hey. It's green, man. They can do anything. Hey, 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 come on. Come on. They had no right to Show do that. Showtime, baby. We got this going. We're ready, man. Hey, DH, man, what, what you doing? Damn, Carpet. We here. Showtime, baby. This is it. I gotta get out of here. Now? No. Yo, we're four hours no, late, coach, be right Yo, here. if you never tell Coach Anthony, you got to be crazy, Tell me, okay? do whatever you got to do, but I got to get out of here. Yes, yeah, you ain't got no time for What I ain't got no time for is you and you're whining and you're nagging and you're, oh, we're going to make it, DH. I don't think we're going to make it, DH, if somebody's all late. You know what? If that's how you feel, I'll see you inside, player.
Yeah, this is DH. I'll be there in 10 minutes. What are you doing? Coach. I can explain, okay? Do you think you can show up an hour before kickoff and suit up? DH was speeding. I don't care if you were held up at gunpoint, managed to escape, killed the bad guys, and saved 50 women and children in the process. You weren't responsible to the team. So I don't see why you should be on it. You're suspended. Now, where's your buddy? I'm down with you, cause I ain't down with Walk around like a prisoner with a lot of charisma. And a stomach full of liquor. Take pride in having more bras than dirt diggler. Cause I'm Buck the Ripper. After I unzip her, treat her whole like a sack and flip her. Never differ from Chase Bristol. I just figured it out. I become the devil. Slow down, Eric. What are you talking about? Me and my brother, we played together on the same team in high school, right? Our dad was the coach, total dictator. The thing is, we were supposed to be great. State champions, maybe, so he pushed us hard. Especially Craig, the only one he played both ways. Go, Craig, go blue. Switch it up. The preseason that year was brutal. Uh, that August it must have got up to 100 two weeks in a row. And he puts us through two a days, full pads, no water. After practice, he would have us run in wind sprints. But well, one day, a Thursday, it got up to 102. And I look back and I see Craig throw up right there in front of everybody. And he looks at my dad like, Coach, do something. But he does it. crosses his arms, I swear to Christ, he crossed his arms. The next sprint, Craig makes it halfway and drops from heat stroke. He was dead before the ambulance got there. I didn't talk to my dad for a year after that. Because I, I didn't want him. I couldn't understand how he could live with himself. What happened with you, Eric, is different. It is. After Craig died, I changed my number to his number and switched to his position because I wanted to remind my dad what he had done. Is that what you're doing now, playing to hurt your dad? I don't know, maybe. Well, that's a lousy reason. Well, I got others. Name one. It's what Craig wanted. But is it what you want, Eric? Is it? <sighs> Chambers! Right here, coach. Did you reach Harris? Uh, I, I called, but uh, he didn't answer. No answer. 47 minutes to kick off, and we get no answer. Hey, dog, you want to kick some ass today, right? No doubt.
told when your mom died. It happened only six months after you lost your old man. You were told she was on a trip. We even had the funeral without you. You love your grandma. She raised you. Keeping you from your mama's funeral wasn't right. You think about your parents all the time. The way things could have been. Should have been. Commandment one. You play to win. Commandment two. To win, you must be prepared. Gerwitz. Yeah, coach. What is the third commandment? There is no third commandment. Correct. Two commandments. Not ten, not six, two. Is that too hard to follow? Is that too complicated? You are professionals. You show up. You do as you're told. You commit. It's not so damn hard. Now get out of here and see if you can handle warm-ups. Coach. Yeah? What do you want? He's not playing because two weeks ago he hurt someone? This is football. It's more complicated than that. No, no, it's not. It's not complicated at all. He's under contract. If you would listen. To what? Some crap about him never wanting to play in the first place? You've got to be shitting me. You sent him to me for counseling. No. My counsel is that he walk away. No, we sent him to you so that he would play. But he's scared. I just don't think. I don't care what you think. You're not being paid to think. You're being paid to get him to play. This is why I busted my ass with you for eight months. I know. To walk out of this tunnel, we talked about that. That was our goal. You did your part. You should be proud of that. Now, you know what it's going to look like, don't you? When they let me go, it's going to look like I didn't do it. Like I tore my knee up and I couldn't rehab. Like I'm an old man. No, it won't. They got to let me play, show what I can do. You didn't get off this. Not if I don't play. You know that. <laughs> the minute coach drafted Harris, I should have asked for a trade. Harris is on the lab, or the coach knows that. Then why is he playing? Coach does what he's told. Oh, so you're telling me this is Will Banks? Of course. That's not what he says. Leon, Coach didn't draft Harris. That was Will Banks. He's the one who looks good if DH plays well. As long as that happens, Will Banks don't care if DH is the shit, unreliable, or a bad teammate. Draft the coach nuts. So if it was up to Coach, you'd be starting. Lesson number one, don't do drugs. Gotta work on that. Lesson number two, act like you're the shit. Not some second generation dime bag junkie can't go 12 hours without a high. Yeah, that one, Cole. Last time, you missed three tackles. I think I just quit. <laughs> it's very funny. No, I just told Coach I'm done. Do you know how lucky you are? Do you have any idea? Look, is this the people we killed for the chance to do what we do speech because of They're not picking up my option. What? You heard me. Between now and then, I have exactly one shot to prove myself to the league or I'm done. Man, this is it. Do you understand? This is all I ever wanted. Well, it's, it's not what I we want. We all want it. Not me. Especially you. 
A slow white boy who turned himself into a player. Now, don't tell me that you don't want it. Or that you did it for your brother to kiss off your old man. And don't bring up what happened to Corey either. Occupational hazard. Now, you kicked ass for this job, broke bones for it, suffered concussions, been shot up practically every day. Now, you may hate it, but the fact is, this is who you are. Taylor! My office now. Coach. Yeah, come in. Harris isn't here. If I could, I'd play without a damn running back, but I can't. You're starting. Okay. I saw Will Banks earlier. He said someone on the team told him that I was sick. There is a rumor. Is it true? No. No, it's not. But it gave Will Banks the opportunity to express concern. Which means? Which means he might not renew my contract. I mean, here I am killing myself for this team, protecting it from Will Banks, and someone goes to him behind my back. Someone gives him a chance to come after me. Look. I'll make sure you get enough carries. Show other teams what you can do. <laughs> Maybe show Will Banks, too. Now, get out of here. This better be important. It is. I think it's Harris. He's back. Too late. He sits. Of course. He should. Um, but Mr. Wilbanks is... Uh, Screw Wilbanks. That's a choice? Sure. I guess. What up, Buck? You got a game to play, baby. They got a game, not us. What are you talking about? I'm talking about how far you went this time, and I was stupid enough to go along with you. Now we're out. Uh, why aren't you dressed? Because we're suspended. Um, right, re remember, I'm, I'm just a messenger, and, uh, yes, you are suspended, uh, but he's playing. Whoa, 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 so, whoa, whoa, come on, whoa, whoa, uh, we can finish whoa, whoa, whoa. in the tunnel. Coach is Yo, waiting. You don't want to know where he's been? Huh? You don't know where he's been? No, not really. Somebody gonna wanna know. Hey, whatever. Somebody gonna wanna know. I guarantee you that. This is it. Why you work so hard, this is the payoff. Your one shot to show them you can still do it. To prove to them the job should still be yours. The time to show them you can still fly. Change of plans. I'll make sure you don't get a second chance. Whatever. Today, next week, for the rest of the year. You're on my ass. I got it. You got it? I got it.
That could be you. You want that to be you. And this is your chance. I don't need this shit. After what happened, no one would blame you for walking away. for your brother to screw your dad because it's Sunday and that's what you do. Who you are. But the truth is you're scared to walk away. You hate the game but you don't have the strength to leave it. So you play angry like someone's gonna pay for this. And that's what makes you good. What separates you from the rest. What makes you a killer. Here are some scenes from the next episode of Playmakers. Ephedrine, Andro, Anabolic Steroid, HGH, Marijuana, Cocaine, you name it, the league tests for it. You didn't hear this from me, but the piss man's coming. Yeah, anytime you're interested, I can hook you up. Uh, I'm in this for my own. I'm not looking for a leg up now. They're squeezing you, aren't they? I'll uh, keep monitoring you, make sure it doesn't get any worse. You really believe that? In a depressants. Well, you think I'm a nut job? I think I'll talk. I'm on the list. I know this guy. You're not gonna wanna do what he did, man. The piss man's here.